So here I have the anti-cubic predator with the volcano hot end upgrade. It is a genuine E3D volcano. I got the sock on there. Uh, previous video mentioned that I needed to mill the effector in order to fit it. I did some mods to the fan system there so I could use the, the original fan that came with the hot end, not the predator itself. Uh, just splice the wires into the current connectors here. Uh, after I got the volcano put in there, I realized that uh, my next bottleneck was the stock, what you would call it, the Anycubic uh, Titan extruder. That extruder, that gear sucks. So what I did was I had a, a Bontech extruder. Uh, I don't want to just say lying around, but I, I, I took it from another project temporarily. Uh, installed that and definitely saw a massive improvement in the amount of force I was able to push on the filament because uh, the volcano was able to keep up with with the demand uh, for the print and the speed but the extruder itself was just it was failing to push out the filament so this has been a fantastic upgrade one of the problems when you upgrade the extruder is your e-steps are no longer the same and I couldn't log into this printer uh, through Pronterface and get proper uh, readback on uh, M codes and G codes. All I kept getting was a zero. So the only way I could combat this was in my starting G code. I put a M92, which sets the, uh, the steps for the extruder, and I changed it to 415, which is recommended by uh, Bontech's website. And giving it a try so right now we're just doing a simple vase print uh, just to see how the layers are looking right now they're printing at 0.5328 or something like that just use a formula based on the uh, the nozzle size and it is looking pretty fantastic uh, the rubber bands are on there I think we've we've seen examples of how this works uh, it takes out any vibration that may be experienced at the effector. I'm looking for a little bit more of an elegant solution than this, but it works for now. So that is all for uh, the current upgrades. The next thing I'll be doing is uh, kind of cleaning up the cables and uh, doing a few more tests. I find that vases, while they do somewhat of a good job of showing you how your extruder is doing, uh, complex parts are a little bit more uh, of a different game. So the next part that I want to print is from the uh, Vicious or V1 Engineering, the MPCNC. I have a one of the parts to print. I'm going to give it a shot on this printer and see how it turns out. So if you have any questions, just uh, leave it in the comments. And uh, very first couple of videos here. So if you uh, feel so inclined, leave a thumbs up. Uh, I'd appreciate it. Thank you very much. Bye.